When I was hearing about the two bodies found in that building, I was like, well, that's crazy. Like, I used to go in that building all the time. For this woman, news that Noelle Soup and two unnamed women died in rooms rented by Van Chung Pham came as a shock. She had her own experience with the man she knew as Jimmy, who she says would offer women drugs before asking them to come to his room at the Heatley Block. He almost always had a different girl with him. I probably met like four or five different girls that he was with. CBC is not naming this alleged victim because she formally accused Pham of sexual assault and a ban on her identity remains in place. In November 2020, she went up to Pham's room where she says he gave her powerful drugs that left her unable to move. She says she was then sexually assaulted. I didn't even like get fully dressed. Um, so I was, I think I left without my shoes on and like not fully clothed. And yeah, I left really fast. She went to the hospital for a rape kit and reported what happened to police. She had no idea Pham had been deemed a danger to vulnerable women and was in custody just weeks before they met. It haunts her knowing two other women were later found dead in that same room. One of them, Noelle Soup, who was just 14 years old. It's really like heartbreaking and um, yeah. I feel bad for their families and stuff, so. It's really messed up for like, it doesn't make this place look good at all. Police told her it was when they went to Pham's apartment to tell him he was being charged with her assault that they found him dead. The charges against him have since been stayed. I would never want someone to die, that's for sure. Um, but it's, I think it because there is no justice that will ever happen for the other girls, for me, and for past girls that I've never known about or will never know about, um, is, I think that's what's most upsetting. Although it's been tough, this whole, this whole thing up until now, like, um, I'm still glad that I did it because it's still um, unfolding a lot of things that need to be dealt with. A young woman who did what she could to stop a man she now believes was a predator hiding in plain sight. Michelle Gassoub, CBC News, Vancouver.